morning. I got a treat for you today. Um, since I have four cars in the house, and keep them clean is uh, pretty expensive. And uh, you know, being me, I'm not gonna pay a lot of money to keep it clean. So today, I, I'll give you a treat. I'm gonna show you how I can wash the car for two bucks. So come along with me. I see you when I get to the car wash, all right? All right, let's see here. I'm setting up the camera so I can show you guys how I do it. Uh, this place, they only charge uh, $1 for each uh, four minutes. So right now, I'm gonna show you four parts. So normally, uh, you know, they have the cycle called rinse, but I don't do that. I just uh, put it on soap, because by the time, the soap get to uh, to the nozzle. You got enough water just to rinse uh, the whole car. See, I use my own brush because I don't trust the brush they have there. People use that brush, abuse the brush, that you know at the car wash. All kind of nasty stuff is in it, so I'm not gonna use their brush. So I, I invest my, in my own brush. I think I paid about 20 bucks for that brush. But I've been using that brush for like 10 years, so it's good. My money, man. See, now you can see the soap came out. I've seen people put a lot of money in these car wars because uh, they don't time it right. See, right now I'm putting soap and rinsing it off at the same time. So I'm switching to uh, the setting called pre-soak which normally you, you do that at the beginning of the car wash, but uh, I do it again because I, that way the soap will get the chance to sit on the car and kind of actually lift up all the dirt and all this uh, environment crap in the air. So by the time I'm finished spraying it down, I have enough time for it to soak it, to lift it up, dirt and oil and whatever is in the bed. Of the paint. By the way, this is a 1998 Toyota Camry, which I bought for 1500 bucks. It's a V6, three liters, with 165,000 miles when I bought it a year ago, and I already put like almost 10,000 miles. And I scrub it down. Since you notice the timer, as soon as the timer run out, that's when I uh, do my own cleaning, scrubbing it off. I always wash from the top to the bottom, that way you know, all the nasty stuff is at the end of it.
So now I'm scoping up Will. What you can see right now, I'm rinsing it off the soap. Okay, right now, switching over to uh, spot free. But it does, uh, it doesn't have any uh, chlorine in it. Just when you spray it down. By the time it dry, we will leave, we'll not leave any spot in the car. Usually, I uh, kind of leave uh, one minute before uh, it ends. That way, I have enough time to spray down everything, even the wheel, because my wheel uh, is a chrome wheel. I spray a lot on the glasses part of the car. So that way, uh, when you dry it off, it will not leave any spot on it at all on any of the windows. And then, get a bit of the water off my brows. So now I'm getting ready to get on the freeway, which is close by. So instead of drying off the car with a towel right away, there's a lot of water on it. So I just get on the freeway, drive for about maybe two exits. That little clip right there is uh, for using to mount your, cam your phone or your camera, but right now it didn't work out well, so I ended up uh, put the camera in between the headrest and the seat on the passenger side. And if you, yes, if you notice, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Okay, this place is so cheap to wash car. It's always packed during daytime, so I go there early in the morning. Yeah, but the exit just right around the corner. And the whole car wash took me about 10 minutes. Not counting drying down, drying down, drying the whole car with a towel after this uh, freeway run. Well, anyway, thank you for watching my video. If you like it, share it and click like. And I will see you in the next video.
Be safe, be frugal, and be healthy. Have a nice day. Bye.